Hey guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to look at my first mountain bike, a 1991 Diamondback Ascent. Welcome back, here you have it, 1991 Diamondback Ascent. Now this is my first mountain bike and I still remember seeing it in the shop window actually. Going home and telling mum and dad that I'd found a bike that I liked. And yeah, eventually getting this one. Now you've probably seen in the intro video there's a lot of parts that aren't original on this bike. So things like the brakes, rear and front derailleur handlebars everything's pretty much been changed out on this bike the only thing that is original now is the frame and the front and rear hubs so i've kept those original to the bike so basically everything that i've changed on this bike was just to make it a little bit more rideable but just keeping that retro look about it right let's take a look at some of these components on this bike so it's a 21 speed bike, 7 speed rear cassette. Moving on to this rear derailleur here, it's a RD M550, early 90s Dior LX rear derailleur. We've got the same era front derailleur, so it's a Shimano Dior LX uh, bottom pull derailleur. Now moving down we've got a Shimano STX RC crank set, this is a square tapered drive crank. And I'm not too sure on the age on this one, but I'm guessing it's a mid to late 90s crank. Now just moving up to the gear shifters here. Now I've swapped out the original Shimano rapid fire shifters with some Olivio ones. So I've got 7 speed for the rear derailleur and 3 speed for the front. Now handlebar wise, I'm running a riser bar on this bike. So it's a Titec ring leader. Now that gives me a little bit more weight over the back wheel of the bike. I'm not lent over too far forward. So that just gives you a bit of a comparison on the increase of handlebar width just compared to the original handlebar. So a little bit more control just when I'm turning. Now the brakes I'm running on this bike are Avid Arch Rivals. Now that's just moving away from the cantilever brakes that were originally on this bike and going for a V-brake. Now the difference with these arch rivals is that the brake pad is parallel to the rim when you're braking. So when you squeeze the brake lever, the pad moves in parallel to the rim. Now looking at the wheel set on this bike, Rim-wise, I'm running a Mavic 317 double wall rim. Now, the original rim on this bike came spec with single wall. Now, the reason I went double wall is I used to run no tubes in this bike setup. Uh, currently just running a tube in here at the moment, but um, I can run no tubes if I wanted to. Stainless spokes and running Nokian NBX. 2.3 tires now i find these tires pretty good just on a rigid bike just having that 2.3 it's a nice wide tire and if i'm running no tubes i run the tires at 26 psi so it acts as a little bit of suspension travel i guess now saddle wise just running a wtb rocket saddle and like all the other parts on this bike, everything's been sourced, used. And the reason is it's virtually impossible to find new old stock of anything of this era now. Okay, well that's my 1991 Diamondback bike. Now this is my main mountain bike. I quite enjoy riding retro bikes. 
and for an old bike this handles pretty well I'm pretty pleased with it um, and it's quite good too if you're out on the trail you get the odd comments sometimes from old school mountain bikers just those that remember these old bikes back in the early 90s now you're probably wondering did I keep the original parts for this bike Yep, so here are the original components for the bike. We'll take a closer look at these. Now, I must admit, some of these parts I resourced for this bike because on the original bike of mine, some of these parts were just too far gone and worn out. So they were binned, and I've managed to source some of the original parts. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. So we'll start off by looking at the front and rear derailleur for this bike. So on the rear it originally came with a X-Age 400LX Shimano rear derailleur. And on the front we've got a 300LX front derailleur. Now looking at some of these other components, probably the most interesting one would be this crank set. So this is a Shimano X-Age 400LX crank set. And you can probably see that Biopace sticker on the left hand side there. Now this is still running two of the original chain rings. I've actually replaced the bottom chain ring there. That one um, is a round one. Now the Biopace chain rings are oval. And that was a technology designed by Shimano in the 80s and it sort of died away in the early 90s now these shifters are the original shimano rapid fire plus shifters and they've got an integrated brake lever as well brake levers made out of plastic now moving on to these brake cantilevers here these are a shimano m201 and that's also a, a plastic as well but yeah, they're original to the bike, and um, I've only removed them just when I upgraded to the V-brakes. Now this is the original bottom bracket that came out of the bike. Now that's a Tangi bottom bracket, so you can see the square taper drive there. Now these are the original handlebars for the bike. I pulled them off when I changed to the riser bar and this is the original saddle for the bike so basically it's a saddle with a gel insert inside and it's got like a wetsuit material on the outside now moving on to the rims this is a spare set of rims that i've got now the um, rims are just single wall rims and i've got the original hubs in these rims as well so i've got both front and rear and just taking a look at the rim brand, so it's a Araya branded rim made in Japan and RX-7 is the model of it by the looks of things. Now you're probably wondering how heavy this early 90s chromoly framed mountain bike is. We'll check it on the scales and we'll find out. Mm. Okay, so we'll get the scale turned on. Okay, so we'll pop the bike onto the scales here. And we're looking at 13.88 kg. So that's, I guess it's fairly heavy in modern standards, but considering this is a 1991 bike, it's a steel frame bike, so it's a lot heavier than say your carbon or aluminium frame bike. But um, I don't think this is too bad for a, a bike of this age. Okay guys, well that brings us to the end of this video. So you've seen my first mountain bike, 1991 Diamondback Ascent. And I've got to say I'm pleased I've hung on to it over the years. Now if you've got an old mountain bike kicking around the garage or you still ride a retro bike, Leave me a comment, I'll be interested to hear what you ride. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video.